So we have finally had details on arms race people and although from the first clues we had I thought it was going to be a PvP mode, it's super clear now that it isn't. To quickly summon up this new mode though it's a battle royale mode but without the battle royaling if that makes sense. People stay tuned, I will explain. How's it going guys my name is DPG and if you enjoyed the video leave a like it helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we have had details of the new arms race mode and while people I didn't think I'd say this, I actually love the look and the idea of it. But let's get a few things out of the way in regards to how you're going to play this. Arms race is included in the new designer's cut add-on. The new DLC that's available in season pass 2 or a standalone purchase starting November 10th. So along with 4th skill trees for our vault hunters, we get this new arms race mode but more about the season pass in a quick second. So what is this new mode? So I'll explain. So it's a new fast paced road like experience. In this challenging new mode, you're stripped of all your gear and dropped into a new zone where you'll have to loot or die trying. The action takes place throughout a storm blind complex, an expansive decommissioned dull military base set under Wintry Island in a previously hidden corner of Pandora. The Stormblind Complex likely got its name from some extremely fatal weather called the Murder Cane, which is shoot for Murder Hurricane, that perpetually ravages the base. As soon as you drop onto the island, you're racing against the club to grab as much gear as you can and get it to extraction points before you get obliterated by the storm's icy devastation. To ensure everyone's on equal footing, all skill trees are disabled in arms race, meaning no action skills or passive abilities. The focus here is on gunplay, rewarding your ability to blast attackers while avoiding the murder cane. You can resurrect any fallen co-op allies at designated respawn points, but if everyone in your party falls, your arms race run is over and any loot you failed to extract is gone forever. They then go on to state you've likely been ignoring white and blue rarity weapons for ages now, but in arms race, they could very well make the difference between a failed run and glorious triumph. If you're lucky enough to find a legendary, your chances of survival will certainly improve, but victory is never guaranteed. If you hope to get the very best legendary loot that only drops in arms race, you'll need to gear up and face off against heavyweight Harker the final boss of the Stormblind Complex. Arms Race will push your run and gun skills to their limits and although you may die repeatedly, successfully completing a run will make you the stuff of Echo Cast Legend. So what this basically is people is a battle royale mode where you face off against AI enemies and you have a limited time to loot and complete this mode before your session ends. Now like I said there will be extraction points throughout this mode so if you find a sick legendary you might want to just extract that because if you go on to fail this new arms race mode you will lose what you haven't extracted people. So it does sound real cool in my opinion but let me know your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. So new details on Season Pass 2 for those who want this information. Season Pass 2 is included with Borderlands 3's Ultimate Edition which delivers the quintessential Borderlands 3 experience. Ultimate Edition grants you access to all Borderlands 3 content released as of November 10th 2020 including the award winning base game, 6 content add-ons and multiple bonus cosmetic packs. That includes a new set of 4 multiverse final form cosmetic packs, one for each Vault Hunter. These incredible outfits add a new character body model and matching head for each Vault Hunter. People, new character body model, epic. This gives you new ways to look fresh while causing trouble. The multiverse final forms imagine how each character might have turned out in an alternate universe where they never became a Vault Hunter. For all you fashionistas, you'll be happy to know that these cosmetics can be mixed and matched with other body and heads as desired, and can also be paired with skins. Pretty cool. 
These slick outfits are also included with Borderlands 3's next level edition, a console only version that includes the base game as well as the multiverse final form cosmetics. As a thank you to everyone who maximized their mayhem from thus far, the multiverse final form cosmetic packs will also be granted to existing owners of the Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition and the original Season Pass, as well as the Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition and Season Pass 2. So you'll get these skins people, you'll get these final form cosmetic packs if you own the original season pass. And this information is basically the same with the 4th skill trees people, which are exclusive to the director's cut. Now information on the 4th skill trees if you do not know, the new skill trees and arms race like I've mentioned launched November 10th and can be purchased as part of the director's cut and require Borderlands 3 to play. They are also pushing Mayhem Mode 11. This update, available to all players, lets you experience Mayhem 10 difficulty and loot without any Mayhem modifiers, with slightly lower drop rates as a trade off for the Marlu Juice Challenge. So that sounds pretty cool. But yeah, the new skill trees will also be exclusive people to the Director's Cut. So no Director's Cut, no Season Pass 2, no fourth skill trees. But yeah guys, that is it for the information we know so far. If any new information drops, you guys know I will have it covered right here on my channel. New content comes November 10th and I'll see you there. Let me know your thoughts and down below in that comment section people. Hope you enjoyed the video, I really do. Drop a like if you liked it I guess. Uh, subscribe if you want more BR3 and hopefully I will see you on that next one.